tell me a little bit about what your average day entails between classes and workouts and volleyball and how everything balances. Okay, well, right now we're in off season, so a normal day, we wake up around seven or earlier to go have our first workout, which will be lifting or running, and then we'll either have a practice after with our coaches or without, and so we're looking at like working out basically until 11-ish, and then we'll usually all head over to the training room and ice bath or do rehab, um, and then we all head over to classes, and so it kind of varies classes for everybody goes from around 11 something to maybe five. And so then at night, people just do homework and have tutors and stuff like that. So the day's pretty busy. Yeah, pretty much from when you get up to when you go to sleep. Yeah. Always something in between. Mm -hmm. just check my equipment really quickly, just make sure nothing exploded. Okay. Right. Um, so now, how has the, the Thornton Center, because I, I met with Joe Skogan before we talked about the resources okay. it offers, how it not only offers tutors and things like that, but it helps you prepare for the transition. How has the Thornton Center helped you when you were making that transition, transition excuse me, from high school to college? Oh, yeah. How did they try and make that smoother for you? Oh, Thornton's great because they offer everything for you. They have printers, computers, tutors, um, a lot of advisors that can tell you, you know, how well you're doing in school, like what classes to take and help you through that route. Um, and when you're a freshman coming out of high school, tr that transition's kind of hard because you're trying to understand the balance, homework and the workouts and the craziness of it all. So I think when I was a freshman, all the study hours we had, because we had mandatory study hours, um, eight hours a week. And then when we got here in the summer, we had two hours every morning um, before the day even started. So that really like pushed us to like understand it fast and kind of get a grip. Mm -hmm. I, I was just, I was really interested to hear, because I, I talked to one professor who told me that, you know, other universities, and, and uh, Dr. Skogan told me as well, some schools, they, they more kind of set everything up for a person's, you know, a student athlete, so they don't have to worry about it, whereas here at the Thornton Center, they try and teach people how to manage it so they mm -hmm. become self-reliant, and I just, I, I don't know, I just thought it was such a great service here that, that they're working on more than just, you know, trying to get the... Point the grade up, to yeah. To uh -huh. um, how now? I know you're from Knoxville originally, mm -hmm. so was was UT always just the the one school you wanted to go to? Because I'm sure you had other options. Was there ever a thought of um, not wearing orange? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this was always like my number one choice because my whole family went to this school. Like my, my, there's so much orange in my house and. We come to Tennessee games all the time. I mean, I came to the volleyball games as a little kid and um, looked up to the program and like, yes, wearing orange is awesome. It means everything. That's great. Mm -hmm. I'm originally from Massachusetts. Orange happened to be my favorite, favorite oh, color good. before I ever came here. So cool. That, was, that worked out well yeah. for me. I always had something to wear for the Fridays. Um, now, let's see. You're studying finance. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you, what do you see yourself doing now? after school's done? Are you looking to, to go into that business world? Are you, what, 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 what kind of career do you see yourself? Oh gosh, I actually don't, don't know um, really at all what I want to do specifically. I just know that the business world seems very interesting to me and I like the idea of um, you know accounting, finance, um, supply chain, all of those like really interest me. So something along those lines. I'm not really sure what job or what I could see myself doing later but just definitely something with numbers, communicating, anything like that. And in finance, that's not an easy concentration, too, because, <laughs> I mean, a lot of, uh, you can, some people can go an easier route to say, you know, I'm going to be so busy with sports and with school, mm -hmm. maybe I'll pick a major that's a little less demanding, but you, you chose <laughs> finance, which I know is complicated. I, I studied accounting in two years before I oh, couldn't yeah. handle the business. <laughs> I just didn't, I wasn't up to it. <laughs> but, uh, but. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought for a second. But uh, how how do you manage to stay on top of you know your GPA and everything so well? Uh, honor society and all that. And such a I mean that'd be difficult if you weren't mm -hmm. a student athlete to get right. four point oh nine. So is that something that Thornton has really helped you with? Yes, I think Thornton plays a huge role in everyone's GPA, especially the numbers from semester to semester. I mean, especially from the start as a freshman starting off and all the hours you put in and understanding the pressure 
from day one stepping on campus really um, and Thornton really does a good job of telling you okay make goals for yourself this is where you need to be push yourself to the limit whether it's you know academics studying um, like obviously your sport um, so I think that I think Thornton has really pushed me to think way further than I thought I could ever even on day one getting here so I think that's why I chose finance. My academic counselor really pushed me to, you know, find the find the major that I wanted to do, but also like pick something that you really can push yourself doing. That's great. It's so mm -hmm. important to challenge yourself too. Now you you mentioned uh, too a little bit about the sorry, sure that's, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> about the pressure and mm -hmm. talk a little bit about pressure of a student athlete. You're mm -hmm. asked to you know do good in school to you know be the athlete that they expect you to be and, and help with the team. Those two things sound like full-time jobs, mm -hmm. full-time jobs themselves. How, do you, what's, what's the pressure feel like? Um, I think the pressure is very high and there's different kinds of pressures, but it's very important to understand the role you have and how you represent yourself and the school now. And it's not just about you. So that pressure is always there. It's there even when you know, you're home for Christmas or you know, it's not your season because you're still wearing orange and you're still a vol. So I think it's very important to understand what you're doing every day and what you're doing it for. So, you know, you'll be in the classroom or, you're, you know, you're taking your time off doing your studying and that pressure of always knowing I need to make that good grade. I need to make this grade for my team and help my GPA and our team GPA and um, whether it's, you know, on the court or the field or whatnot, it's very important to you know, fulfill what your coach really wants you to for your teammates. And so there's always pressure every day, every second. It's just something you signed up for when you chose to come here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it comes with the territory, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now, the, there's a lot of resources offered to student athletes and, you know, between the Thornton Center and scholarship and some of the nice programs that they have. Uh, do you feel that there's enough resources for you to be successful both on the volleyball court and both academically uh, provided by UT? Oh, yes. There's basically no cracks you can fall through. <laughs> if, you, if you come here, I mean, they'll help you till there's no point left. Like, you will succeed because there's tutors, there's great, like, they watch your grades, they'll help you if you ask for help. If you don't ask for help, they'll help you always academically. I mean, even in the weight room, you know, when you're done, the trainers want to help you get better faster if you're sore or whatnot and even they have a nutrition bar now you can go get food before you go to class if you don't have time to eat so I think in every aspect of like being a student athlete academics training your practices like everyone wants you to succeed so really there's no cracks to fall through because you you will be successful if you put the effort in great, great. now mm -hmm. how are the people at the Thornton Center everyone I've dealt with is really nice and Dr. Skogan told me that you know you have to have a really committed staff all year round yes. to, to make sure that everyone's where they should be. Tell me a little bit about the staff that works at the Florida Center. The staff is great because every single person here wants to see athletes succeed and what they're doing, you know, on the court, on the field, or even here in Thornton, um, they're always willing to help you. I mean, I've gotten help from many people that aren't even my academic counselor because they're just willing to help you or just help you to, like pick classes or something that they're not even like, they normally don't help you with because they want to see you do well. So everyone's so friendly and so great. 